pastry chef at Oriole Restaurant here in New York. And today I will be preparing for you a key lime and champagne mango tart with an almond milk sorbet. And we're going to put some uh, fresh mango coulis and a crisp rice twill. Uh, over here I have some ingredients. Here's a fresh mango puree, uh, fresh lime juice, three whole eggs, one sheet of gelatin, some sugar, and some softened butter. We're going to put these ingredients together. We're going to put together a uh, mango lime curd that's going to go inside of a tart shell that's going to be lined with a graham cracker crust, ground up, packed into the tart shell. Then we're going to set the curd right in that shell. Okay, and for the dish, we're going to use a couple of other ingredients. Uh, over here we have some fresh dried coconut, a mango coulis with a little bit of lime zest, an almond milk sorbet, crisp rice twill, some spiced slivered almonds, and some julienne fresh mango. Okay, so we're going to start by putting our, uh, our mango, mango puree and our lime juice into a saute pan. And our lime juice. We're going to transfer this over to the stove. I'm going to bring our sugar with us as well. Sorry. Okay, we're going to whisk this over a medium heat just to get it to a light simmer. Once it starts to simmer, we're going to add our sugar. Once this comes to a simmer and all the sugar has dissolved, we're going to whisk in the eggs. We're going to continue cooking until it starts to thicken slightly. And then we're going to strain it out. Okay, we're going to strain strain our liquid through a fine sieve. Gently pressing with a ladle. You want to make sure you get all the juice through. Making sure if you did have any curdled egg, it does not pass through, giving you any grittiness. Okay. Now we are going to add our bloomed gelatin. Bloomed meaning it's been soaking in some cold water to activate the gelatin. We're going to whisk that in until it dissolves. And then we're going to add our softened butter. Whisk in that butter. After you whisk the butter, you're going to use a, a hand blender. The reason why we're using the hand blender is basically it's going to emulsify the butter into the lemon lime, the lime juice, and the mango. So you get a very smooth, creamy tart. smooth. We're going to put this on ice, cool it down so that it starts to stiffen up a bit. You can take a rubber spatula just making sure you stir it.
You want to cool this down because if you put it into the tart shells too soon, it may get a skin. So by cooling it down, you're going to prevent that skin from forming. Once this is cool, you can go right into the tart shells, which I have some here prepared. Okay, for these tart shells, what we've done is we've taken some uh, ginger snap cookies. We've dried them out in the oven, and we've ground them up in a food processor. Add a little bit of melted butter, and then you're just going to take and you take your fingers, and you're just going to pack them directly into any kind of tart shell. These are little fluted tart shells. Pack it in, pack in the sides so it's a nice even layer, and then you're going to take your base, and we're just going to pour this base. You're going to pour it directly into the tart shells. Once you poured the base into the tart shells, you're going to take these and you're going to refrigerate these. Refrigerate them for a minimum of one hour up to about two or three hours. And then you can pull them out of the refrigerator and serve. Uh, in order to unmold these, what you would need to do is uh, take a little bit of a, a heated towel or a damp cloth, just run it around the outside of the tart shell itself. Invert the tart shell onto a piece of uh, aluminum foil paper and it should come out fairly easily. If you have some trouble, what you can do is you can stick it in the freezer for about 20-25 uh, minutes, let the curd get a little stiff, then, then unmold it, and then let it thaw uh, for about an hour in the refrigerator before serving. Okay, so we're going to put these in the refrigerator now. Okay, so after two hours in the refrigerator, Your tart should come out like this. Okay, and here at Oriole, what we do with this is we do a composed plated dessert with this, which I'm going to prepare for you right now. Okay, what I have here in the squeeze bottle is our, our mango sauce with a little bit of fresh lime zest inside. We're just going to do a little line on the plate here. Okay, turn the plate, and then we're going to put a little bit of our dried coconut. Okay, followed by a little bit of our spiced slivered almonds. Okay, and then we're going to take our tart right in the center of the plate here. And we're going to take a little bit of our fresh julienne mango. That's going to go directly in the center of our tart. I want to leave a little space in the center, kind of like a little nest area for our sorbet. Then we're going to take a scoop of our sorbet here. Just take an ice cream scoop right in the center. We're going to finish the dish with a piece of our crisp rice twill. Just going to place it gently on top. A little firm tap in the center. And that's it. And here we have our key lime and champagne mango tart with almond milk sorbet.